It's been a while. I'm glad that you're in good health. Our guests are residents of the dorm, I presume. I'm sorry for bringing such a crowd. I heard you told them about the incident. Why did you hide it so long? I wasn't hiding it. I've told you time and again. None of the blame is yours. But... Two in harmony surpasses one in perfection. That has been our guiding principle since the Corrigio family separated from the Nanjo group. Hmm. You must learn to trust in others, Mitsuru. There are things in this world that cannot be accomplished alone, no matter how many sacrifices you make. Yes, Father. You accessed our database, didn't you? That's another thing. Why didn't you ask me directly instead of using this trip as an excuse? I'm... I'm sorry. Bring them here. All of them. I had no intention of concealing the truth from them. I've made preparations to disclose everything. Everything? There's a girl named Takaba in your group, correct? For her to awaken to her power, it must be fate. Father? From what I understand, Mitsuru has already given you the short version. Oh, yes. Well, it's true. We adults are to blame. If I could have atoned for it with my life, I would have done so. Now, I have no choice but to rely on you. What my father wanted to create with those monsters' power was a time manipulation device. That's what he was trying to do? Imagine, if you could control the flow of time, eliminate unwanted events before they occur. With such a device, you could shape the future to your liking. Damn, that's insane. However, under my father's direction, the research began to stray from its original goal. In his later years, my father seemed to have only nihilism in his heart. Now that I think about it, his madness may have resulted from his struggle to break free from that. It's only natural that you want to know the truth. And it's my duty to tell you. What's this? This is the only existing footage of the accident, recorded by a scientist who was at the scene. A video recording? I pray that this recording reaches safe hands. That voice! My employer has become obsessed with a loathsome idea. This experiment should have never even been conceived. I'm afraid what I've done will result in an unprecedented disaster. But if I hadn't, the entire world may have paid the price. The entire world? Please, listen carefully. The shadows that were amassed here have been dispersed as a result of the explosion. To end this nightmare, you must eliminate all of them. I am to blame for this. I knew the risks, but I was blinded by the promise of success. And so I didn't raise any objections. It is all my fault. Huh? His name was Eiichiro Takaba. He was the head researcher at the time. 
and a very talented man. But we are the ones who are responsible. We pushed him to continue the research. The Kirijo group is to blame for his death. I... I can't believe it. So that means my dad caused it all? The Dark Hour, Tartarus, the people who died in that incident? It was all his fault? Uh, you okay? So that's why you were hiding this? Because you felt sorry for me? Is that it? No, Takiba, I... I don't want your pity! Takiba! Uh. Um, shouldn't someone go after her? <sighs> Yo. Please, go after her. Of course. Thank you. I believed in him for so long. Oh, this is too much. You okay? Remember what I told you at the hospital? How my dad died when I was little? You understand now, right? He died in that incident. Nobody knew the truth, so there were all sorts of rumors. Because he was in charge of the research team, people were really mean to me and my mom. We even had to move a few times. Yeah, but all this time, I kept telling myself it wasn't his fault. I loved him a lot, and I believed he'd never do anything wrong. I received a letter back in the spring. It was from him, written ten years ago. It cracked me up, because even though it said to my family, it was pretty much all about me. That only made me believe in him more. When I found out I had a special power, I thought it was fate. I was scared, but I thought if I cooperated with the Kirijo group, I might find out what really happened. That's why I agreed to fight using my persona. But it turns out, all of that was for nothing. No, it wasn't all for nothing. You're just trying to make me feel better. Why does reality have to be so harsh? I tried so hard to fight my fear, and this is what I get. Maybe I'm just jealous of Mitsuru Senpai. I mean, why my father and not hers? <laughs> I'm a horrible person, aren't I? Well, you're just speaking your mind. Fate can be cruel. <laughs> Stop acting like you have all the answers. My apologies. <laughs> I'm sorry. My head's a mess. I'm so afraid. I don't know what to do anymore. I'm totally lost. Tell me. What should I do? You should still believe in your dad. You mean... keep believing? Oh, I'm sorry for acting like this. You've lost your parents too. But... I'm all right now. I'm used to dealing with stressful situations. Thanks. Hey! 
Keesh, what's taking you so long? Everybody's waiting. It's almost the dark hour, so you should get back. I almost forgot. It doesn't matter where you are when the dark hour comes. Sheesh, it's just common sense. Even I remembered. You know, I've been thinking lately. Once you awaken to the power of Persona, you remember everything that happens during the dark hour. It's like trading away your innocence. In a sense, yes. In exchange for power, you can no longer look away from the things you don't want to see. You get to experience harsh reality. So, I guess I'm stuck with you guys, huh? Yep. <laughs> now that that's settled, let's get back. Again. Where's that coming from? Huh. Okay. I don't want to be here anymore. I had a little bit of fun in the sun, and then all of a sudden I was hit with a bunch of story details. A lot of harsh ones, too. See a large cryptomeria tree. Cool. Ah, the air is so fresh. I never thought a walk in the woods could be so enjoyable. You can't do this in Iwatodai. <sighs> oh, so listen to this. Junpei was acting like such a pervert yesterday, and I didn't know how to react. It's probably a good thing we came out here by ourselves. I agree. Huh? Oh, yeah. It was a good attempt, Fuka. I knew what you were doing there. Uh-oh. Uh Mitsuru speaking. One moment. Let me switch over to speakerphone. Please continue. Well, I'm at the lab here on the island. And a machine that was considered inoperable suddenly left the facility on its own. A machine? Does the Kirijo group have mechs? What kind of machine is it? I need detailed information to locate anything other than shadows. It's a combat vehicle, an anti-shadow weapon to be precise. Dude, is it like a tank? A combat vehicle? You mean like a tank? Hell yes, Yukari! We gotta let the others know. Where's my cell? We're not currently with the others, so it might take some time for us all to assemble. I see. Well, regardless, I want you to handle this as soon as possible. I'm on my way there now. If the target cannot be captured, do we have permission to destroy it? <laughs> I highly doubt you'll be able to destroy it. Oh my god, an unkillable enemy. What? Then how are we supposed to stop it? By pure force of will, I don't know. Just do your best. I'll call you again later. <laughs> that won't really help when we're all laying on the ground dead. Great. No one's answering. Don't worry about it. Let's go back and get our equipment. Yes, ma'am. Then we can have Yamagishi's persona scan the area. Although this island is quite large. <sighs> Jeez, where could they be? What does this mean? Huh? Are the girls not up yet? Man, what lazy bones. The ocean's not gonna sit around and wait for us, you know. You're right. Once the sun sets, the water temperature drops, tiring you out much faster. Huh? Uh, I guess. Is that what you're worried about? That reminds me. One of the maids gave me a letter as we were leaving. Well, hey, Junpei! Ah, no buts! I ain't letting any love letters from a lovely maid slip through my fingers. Oh, how dumb can you get? Don't answer that. Ah, let's see here. This says we've gone to see the Joman Cedar Tree. Huh? It looks like Fuka's handwriting. Oh, man. 
We're at an island resort in the middle of summer. Why don't they go to the beach? That's just not right. Well, it is your fault. <laughs> He's got a point, Junpei. What do you mean? I, I just wanted to lighten up the mood. I don't want to hear it. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. We're on our own now. Just the guys. If you're out of ammo, you pick it up on the battlefield. That's one of the most basic military tactics. We'll call this Operation Babe Hunt. Yes, Babe Hunt. You mean like pick up girls? Oh, this is gonna be a shit show. What do you think, Akihiko-san? With you on the squad, we're guaranteed to succeed. Nah, I'll pass. Oh, scared you're gonna lose? <laughs> what? Hey, I'm not judging you. Most guys would rather back down than lose. Poke, poke, poke. Starts a fire. All right, we're doing this. Fire started. Okay, with Mitsuru and our leader gone, I'm in command. Huh? The loser buys dinner at Hagakure when we get back home. Commence the operation. Loser? What do you mean, loser? Wait, we're gonna go hit on him separately? Hi there, miss. Wanna hang out? Oh, I see. You're here with your boyfriend. Swing and a miss! Uh, hey there. Say, do you know the most efficient swimming technique? The butterfly stroke uses your leg strength to... Oh, I... I see. Strike two! <clears throat> Need someone to rub sunblock on your hard-to-reach areas? Whoa, bold. Oh, don't worry. I'm really good at it. Huh? Uh, you're trying to get a tan? I'm in the way? Oh, excuse me then. Strike three! Mm. You both suck! All right, Junpei. What's going on here? What do you mean? That indirect approach of yours isn't gonna help you score. What? So you're saying I should use cheesy come-ons like yours? Honesty is the best policy. I mean, who wants to listen to a guy drone about muscles and... <laughs> What's up? You see something? Talk about saving the best for last. Now that's what I'm talking about. Target acquired. Moving in for the kill. Man, she's cute. I agree. This is our last chance to make up for failures. All right, here I go. Hey. Hey, how's it going? I noticed you've been uh, staring at the ocean. So, um, do you come here often? My name's J J Junpei. Ju Ju Junpei? Oh, don't worry, I I just want to talk. Don't run away like all the others. I mean, I mean it's more fun than standing here all by yourself, isn't it? I am looking for a human. <laughs> Ouch! I don't think I've said anything that harsh. Uh, oh yeah. You are not the one. Oh, okay, she actually meant... You know what, never mind. This is still pretty harsh. Rejection! Wow, he got shot down faster than I expected. <laughs> She's a tough one, senpai. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I won't get rejected that fast. Hello there. Say, uh, do you like the ocean? Is your question directed at me? Oh, um, uh, yeah. I, I like the ocean, too. Hey, I heard that triathletes who train at the beach perform better than those who practice indoors. Makes sense, doesn't it? 
That type of information is irrelevant to me. <laughs> I won. I talked to her longer than you did. Uh-huh. It doesn't matter how long you talk to her. Yeah, they both sounded like rejections. <sighs> Ugh, this sucks. <laughs> hey, stop crying. You're making me feel bad. <sighs> she looks surprised for some reason. What's she looking at? Hmm. She took off. It wasn't because of us, was it? Who knows? Wait, she's heading into the forest. Isn't it dangerous for a skinny girl like her to wander around all alone in there? Why? You think there might be bears or something? I... I don't know about that, but we should go after her. Got lost. Oh no. You ever get those shivers up your spine? Someone's watching me. Hello. Are you part giraffe? That's probably not a good way to start a conversation. Hi. Correct. I have found you. Am I your hit target? Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> I have been searching for you. Okay. This is weird. My highest priority is to be with you. Yeah, that's better than most of the guys' lines. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, it was nice to meet you. There she is. Wait, what? What's going on here? I just said hello. Apparently I've got a better chance with the ladies than you dorks do. I see, so that's a preference. Oh, come on. Well, that explains why we got the cold shoulder. Well, I mean, I don't mind. At least she's not squeezing too hard. There you are. Junpei! What are you doing here? We've been looking all over for you. Um, what are you doing in the middle of the woods? In your swimsuits? Cue the comedic laughter, and he's mauled by a bear. You have no idea what we've... Huh? So, girls, can you, uh, help me out here? Why is she hugging you? Well, I was getting there. Oh, I have to say this. What? Figure that one out. Listen, we've encountered a problem. I'm sorry to interrupt your vacation, but I need you all to go back to the house and prepare for battle. That won't be necessary. We found what we were looking for. Ikutsuki phases through the tree. We found what we're looking for. What do you mean? Oh, you had me worried. You don't have permission to leave the lab on your own, I guess. Huh? I know. Oh. I apologize for all the trouble. Everything is under control now. So, what happened to capturing the tank? Oh, that's been taken care of. Come here, I guess. Coming. This is Igus. As you can see, she's a mechanical maiden. Oh. I am Igus. My mission is to destroy shadows. I have been assigned to seize, effective immediately. We get a robot? No way. It's like she's alive. 
need to work on that speech, but yeah, pretty much. This is unbelievable. She's so cute, but she's a robot. That doesn't stop some people. Anti-shadow weapons were created 10 years ago to combat uncontrollable shadows. Oh. Igus was the last to be made, and she's the only one that still remains today. An anti-shadow weapon? Does that mean she... She's the tank! Yes. I am capable of operating the persona Palladian. Dude. She suffered major damage in combat and has remained in the lab ever since. It's still unclear as to why she suddenly reactivated herself this morning. Well, I hope you will all get along. An anti-shadow weapon with a will of her own? This is amazing! Um, by the way, when I saw you earlier, it seemed like you knew her. Yes, it is very important for me to be by her side. Hmm. Perhaps her identification system is malfunctioning. Or maybe she's still half asleep. This is quite interesting. Hmm. I don't think it's that. Well, I can ponder this later. Oh, I forgot to tell you all. You can participate in a wide range of recreational activities here. Yeah, yeah, we'll just skim over the robot girl. Yeah, no big deal. There's a tennis court, a pool table, even a karaoke machine. Dude. Would you care to hear me sing? <laughs> no. Uh... Rather be hugged by the robot girl than hear you sing. Ugh. So, uh, the first night we got, you know, soul-crushing information about Tartarus and everything else and made Yukari sad. Second day, we found a robot girl. What does day three have? Man, it's already the third day of our trip. It's too bad we have to go home tomorrow. I'd totally stay longer if I could. But I can't complain. A lot of cool things happened while we were here. How can he be so full of energy? Ah, oh, come on, buck up, Akihiko. We were all up so late last night. Do we have a mission at the beach today? Your mission? Have fun. Nah, it's nothing like that. We just came here to have some fun. See? Do you understand what it means to have fun, I guess? Of course. Recreation is the refreshment of one's mind and body. Exactly! Well, you sure know a lot about us humans. You humans have great fun. All right, let's take one last dip before we leave. <laughs> Literally dragging, she's making perfect lines in the sand. Uh, hold on, Junpei-kun. Get the robot wet. Is it okay for Igus to go in the ocean? Oh, I'm sure she's waterproof. Let's test the theory. What's wrong, Igus? It is best that we all engage in this activity together. <laughs> Picks up Yukari and Fuka and drags them to the ocean. An activity in which only one person derives enjoyment is not the optimal method to have fun. You humans will have great fun. Ugh, do we have to? Yes. See, there you go, Yukari. We should join them. Yes, we should. Okay. Yes! Everybody's having fun! It's about damn time! Are you enjoying yourself? We've been quite busy during our time here, but it looks as if we can relax a bit today. Oh, it's about time, and Akutsuki, where the hell did you come from? Because I think it would be hilarious if you materialized from the sand. I hope so. Akihiko-san, come on! It's your turn! And a beach ball comes running into his face. My turn? What are they doing? <laughs> I'm glad to see everyone is having so much fun. I've already told you what time the ship will be arriving tomorrow, yes? I'll most likely head over to the port early, so don't be late. Okay, I'll let everyone know. We can get back down to business again once we're back at the door. Got it. Yo! Hey, Akihiko-senpai! This again? I guess we should go, too. 
Sure. I just wait. That's not what water gun means. <laughs> and then Junpei died. Junpei Kun is down. He did. All right, here's our chance for an all out attack. Everyone, dogpile on Junpei. <laughs> Let's get him, girls! Whoa, 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 time out! I seriously can't take much more of this! Fun in the sun, Junpei. <laughs> and we almost killed one. Oh, wow, well, we actually get a rank up in our C's, Arcana. The fool is up to rank five. And, yeah, we got our new party member. The anti-shadow weapon, Igis. <gasps> party members can now take a mortal blow for you in battle. I like it. When you receive a blow that would otherwise kill you, your ally will take the hit for you during battle. And I believe that applies to everybody you have in your party, regardless of their social link rank. Now, obviously this is a lot different from Persona 4 Golden, which you had to get to a higher rank in a person's social link in order to get that perk. I think it was close to the end, too. Whooping it up. You seem to be in great pain. You guys. Ah, shit, it's them. You mean those three? Wow, they're freaky. Shut up, let's go! Why do they always run and hide when I approach? They're like back alley rats. Beats me. Jin, give him the capsules. <laughs> Thanks. I'll pay you the same as... Hold up. This time, information will suffice. Your acquaintances have been busy lately. I'm referring to their activities on nights when the moon is full. They spent a great deal of time in the tower as well. Why did they take this burden upon themselves? <laughs> you do know, don't you? But you don't wish to say. Is it because they are your friends? No, I've got nothing to do with them. Then tell us. Wouldn't you agree these pills are more important than a bunch of strangers? Huh. <laughs> I don't know the details, but... Supposedly, if you destroy all those creatures, then the tower will disappear and with it the dark hour. You mean, they intend to eliminate the dark hour? Why would they do such a thing? With the power they have... What? They wish to destroy the Tower of Demise as well? Tower of Demise? Who wouldn't want to take out that damn tower? Easy, Takaya. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I can't go back. Not after what happened. Interesting. Got a new detail. That should be important a bit later. Junpei, you are all vacationed out. Isn't that always the case? 
Well, I actually thought it was a bit the opposite. It takes forever to get there. It takes really quick to get back from wherever you're vacationing. Sure. Next operation, which is in 14 days? Really? Oh, good. And actually, that's a good point that Junpei brings up. Summer vacation is almost here. Like, actual summer vacation. Where pretty much everybody is going to be free all day, every day. And that's going to be a big portion of our social linking is going to be happening during summer break. And hopefully we'll finally, you know, get to rank 10 for some of them. <laughs> yep, it'll all be over. Here's hoping the last six are just here in the next 14 days and then it'll all be over. Oh, everybody is here, and we also have I guess in the dorm with us now. Yes, my lodging quarters. Uh, you don't have to do that. Yeah, no, no shit. She still has that that robot speech that makes it very obvious. Be able to do that, maybe able to. Oh, hint, hint from the game saying maybe. You might be able to make a social link with Igis, but not right now. Akihiko, how was your vacation? I know there's so many party members to choose from. I love it. Variety. Uh, yeah. Where are the others? Yeah, you said there were multiples. Uh-huh. Oh. So, she's the last one. Aww. What else you got? Yeah. Why does she look like a human? I mean, I can kind of make a guess, but... Personas are created from human minds, so the plan was to place a human mind in... What? Was the form the weapon would take. If the form of the weapon was a tank, for instance, the weapon's mind would recognize itself as a tank. Right, it's not a living entity. Because the mind of the non-living entity will process human thoughts correctly. I'm assuming because this is actually more complicated than I thought. I mean, yeah, it would be complex to have a robot create a persona that is normally created by a human mind. That's actually very interesting. Built in the form of human beings. That makes a lot of sense. Thank you. And uh, this is the most important thing. Why does she know me? And you don't know? Uh, it's a possibility. Maybe she thinks I'm you. Okay. Well, we got to learn... Uh, oh my gosh. Got to learn about I guess. How are you doing, Mitsuru? It is a welcome addition. She's great! I'll have to give her a test drive when we go back to Tartarus. <laughs> yeah, but we brought back a robot! <laughs> yes. Very, very Trabian. That's a little redundant. How are you doing, Fuka? Yeah, we're not going to Tartarus, but I just wanted to ask you about you. Yukari, how was your vacation? Yes, they will. We're going to have to do some serious disguise work here. I guess, but it's kind of obvious. Yes, I will act normal. Thank you. Which one are you talking about? We got a whole dorm full of cute girls. Oh, are you talking about the robot? Except for that vending machine one time. Damn! <laughs> All right. We've had a pretty good vacation, and tomorrow, I think we actually have to go to school tomorrow. Damn it. So next time in Persona 3 Portable, we got one day of school, maybe a few more, and then we finally get our summer vacation. It's about dang time. So I will see you guys next time.